Hi everyone, um, my name is Hannah Rudd and I'm a Natural Sciences alumni from Lancaster University, uh, class of 2018, so a little while ago now. Um, I'm sorry that I can't be here to give this presentation to you in person, but I hope you find it useful and that you're all doing really well. Uh, current circumstances are a bit crazy, aren't they? <laughs> so I hope you're all taking care of yourselves and uh, still managing to, to get your studies done and all that good stuff. Um, so my name is Hannah Rudd, um, I'm a marine biologist and science communicator. Um, I'm currently working as the campaigns officer uh, at the Anglian Trust, um, but that's not all I do. <laughs> um, I wear quite a few different hats um, as a freelancer as well. Um, I've also recently taken on the role of a high seas ambassador, uh, with which is um, for an organisation called the High Seas Alliance, which is a uh, array of different ocean related charities. And we're working on the High Seas Treaty. Um, that will be taking place this year, which is an enormous uh, task and a brilliant opportunity for, for ocean protection. Um, yes, and I'm also a lot involved with uh, UK Youth for Nature as well, which is uh, part of the global youth network uh, that works a lot on uh, climate change and biodiversity issues around the world. Um, I'm also writing a book uh, for Bloomsbury Publishing um, on the UK coastline, uh, which will be released next year. Um, and I really started um, my fascination with science communication whilst I was at Lancaster um, by starting a blog. Um, and I was very lucky that a publisher saw that blog and decided to offer me a book. The job that I have now with the Angling Trust, um, which is very environmental policy focused. Um, but I've been very fortunate in the sense that I've still been able to keep uh, the, my love of sharks involved with the the role um, so we're currently working on a number of different shark projects here in the UK um, looking with uh, recreational anglers to, to collect data that can be used to better understand shark populations that we have um, so just to give some colour I guess to to where my career started um, since leaving Lancaster in 2018 I then went to the University of York to, to do uh, marine environmental management as a master's degree. Um, and during this degree, I really um, built on my fascination with our ocean and sharks in particular. Um, previously, I'd been to South Africa to volunteer with Great White Sharks, um, at a company called White Shark Projects, which really opened my eyes to the state of our seas and also um, the plight of sharks in particular. Um, and challenged a lot of those stereotypes that you see um, in Hollywood and the media. So it was a really eye-opening experience for me. I had the opportunity to go to the Maldives with the Maldives Wild Shark Research Programme. Um, I did a placement there, um, studying the marine protected area network that they have um, and the impacts on those um, management regulations on whale sharks um, and their behaviour. It's still a very uh, relatively new field, um, so still lots to learn, um, but a fascinating place to be. Um, from there, I went to South Africa again, a little bit addicted to the place, <laughs> for uh, several months uh, where I went back to White Shark Projects and did a uh, study again for my master's degree, looking at um, the implications for the tourism industry on changing public perceptions towards sharks and how the, the ecotourism can be used as a valuable tool for shark conservation. From there, uh, I um, applied for a scholarship with the South African Shark Conservancy, uh, the Women in Shark Science Scholarship uh, that they were running, um, which was a month long training program in uh, shark field uh, studies, uh, shark husbandry, uh, shark telemetry, so tagging their movements, um, ecology studies, uh, baited remote underwater video systems, uh, their deployment and analysis. Um, so there was lots of really cool things involved there, um, as well as an, a really great opportunity to network with some leading women in that field. Um, so that would be my biggest advice is just to put yourself out there and if you have a real passion um, and if something really lights the fire inside of you, without being too cringy, um, pursue it.